In this tutorial, you will learn how to use switch statements in c -sharp. We have already seen the if-else construct. Another conditional statement available in c -sharp is the switch case construct. It is used when you have to evaluate a variable for multiple values. This is the syntax for the switch case construct. When the switch statement is executed, the variable in the switch statement is evaluated. The value of the variable is compared with each case constant. If one of the case constants is equal to the value of the variable given in the switch statement, control is passed to the statement following the match case statement. A break statement is used to exit the switch case construct. If none of the cases match, the default block gets executed. Let's look at an example in detail. Here is a program to output grade. It's a nested if statement, and the comparison here is between the variable grade and constants 1, 2, and 3. The grade is accepted from the user. The if condition statements check the grade for 1, then for 2, and then for 3. This can be made simpler by using a switch case construct. So here we replace the if else construct. Here, the switch case construct is simple as it evaluates an expression only once at the top whereas the if-else construct evaluates the expression for each if statement. This saves a lot of memory when you're working with complex programs. Note that the keyword switch is followed by the variable in parentheses. Each case keyword is followed by a possible value for the variable. The break statement completes a case construct, and it is compulsory to finish the case. The points to be noted here are the data type of the constants should match the data type of the variable being evaluated by the switch construct. Here we have 1, 2, and 3. They are integers, and the variable grade is also an integer. Before entering the switch construct, a value should be assigned to the switch variable, else it will give an error. Let's comment the read line statement. This makes the grade unassigned. Compile the program by pressing F6. You can see that the error reads, use of unassigned variable. So let's uncomment the line. Now compile by pressing F6 and then run the program by pressing F5. Let us enter a value for grade 2. The output is good, so the second case got executed. Now let us look into some different scenarios within the switch case construct. First, what if the number entered does not match any case? Run the program and enter 8. Invalid grade is the output. That is because the default block got executed. Now, what if we don't have a default block? Let us comment the block and run the program. Input 8 and press Enter. No statement gets printed as the output, since no case matched the integer 8. We have the default block over here to notify the user for invalid entries.